Oh, greetings everybody and welcome back to the stream. As you can see, we are back into some No Man's Sky and we find ourselves on a planet. Um, I think it's a corrupt or dissonant planet, to be honest. But I also remembered that we died because we were trying to kill, uh, but we did get one of these. Yeah, see, so this is all disarrayed, so I just got our stuff back by the looks of it. So, we're going to trigger that. Because we don't know what sort of interceptor is here yet. So, that said, let us go and find out. And we might even be able to pick up a decent uh, multi-tool, or a better multi-tool maybe. Three minutes. I'm not going to go three minutes that way. Let's go like 30 seconds this way. That's over the other side of the mountain, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I don't have any, any sodium nitrate. Really? We mean ammo is low. No, it's not. multi-tool expansion, nice. Oh, nicely timed. Oh, another multi-tool ex expansion slot. Interesting. It's not often we get two of those. Um, let's unlock you. What are you? Starship shield module. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, that's worth it. What sort of one is it? It's the... Interesting. Oh, okay, so we've gone into cold. We've gone from superheated to cold. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. Huh? Okay. Okay, we were fourteen, four, and ten. Fourteen, 
four and ten. Good. Lift the lock down. Oh, I've not done one of these before. <gasps> oh, and I just realized, sorry, I do apologize. I just realized that my stream has actually got audio turned on. Here we go. I couldn't hear it because it's turned on really, really super low for me. There we go. Ooh, oops. Sorry. Accident. Okay, so I've actually I just got a skin for my jetpack. Now, I don't think... I, I don't have one, do I? Yeah, I've only got the one. Okay. It's a C-class. It's not worth it. Now, before we do anything else... Uh, okay, that looks frightful. I was going to make a save beacon. But I'm thinking it might be a little bit difficult to get hold of some sodium nitrate for starters. Is that a shoot to the bottom? I think that's almost... A, well, wouldn't have been surprised, actually. Because that appears to be a rather... a long way down. And... There doesn't appear to be a lot of planet... Okay, that's janky as. Uh, a lot of planet-side resources available here by the looks. See, notice there is absolutely no resources around us at all. Oh, some oxygen, carbon, and some dihydrogen way over there. That's about the extent of it. Okay, well, so I can't drop a save beacon because I can't get the resources for it. So the next best bet is to do that. Just so I can find this place again if I need to. Now, show me a dissonance spike, please. Okay, so, oh, not far over there. Corrupted energy spike located. Okay, interesting. Oh, it's a nice design one too. It's a nice design one too. Oh, I actually am liking the look of this one. Be interesting to see what it looks like once I get it out of the ground, but
That's right, go boom. No, no, boomses. How many times? Booms are banned. There we go. Booms are banned. But I don't want to be good. I want to be great. But we don't always get what we want. So I'll just have to settle for semi-competent. Now, I had trouble last time I tried to do this with another game, in that it triggered the... Ah. Okay, I think we might be okay this time. Be because the last time I did this, that beacon was not over top of there, it was actually sitting way back here somewhere. I think it was some desync with the the artifact, the, the, the ancient site here. So let's see. There we go. Okay, there we go. That actually worked. Last time it didn't, so. I might as well score, score me some credits whilst I'm here. So how are you Anubis anyway? You doing? That's good to hear. This is a nice design Sentinel's interceptor. I have I keep forgetting to check what class it is when I first interface with it, but it's probably a C class. They usually are. Ooh, it's actually an A class. I'm surprised. Very nice. In fact, it is directly on par with what I've got. Oh, I'm going to claim it. Like, hell yeah. Alright, folks, let's just have a look see at what this. actually looks like no that's not the button to take off that is well nice okay let's just bring back some relative normality to our screen no not 100% clear wrong, wrong way far out Very nice. It looks like it's got bug eyes sitting up the top. That's weird. For those interested who, who know how to do so, you will see the portal address for this system, this planet, I should say, down there on the left hand side of the screen. I'll just take a screeny shot of this. You see my other one sitting down the background there. 
And another screenshot there. There we go. No, it's not actually the button I want to press. I want to go this way. And that. I'm going to change back to the other one because it's... Well, I've got equipment on it. But... That is a rather nice... I don't think I'll sell that one. And it's an A-Class. Even better. I mean, I don't think... I mean, I could try getting an S-Class of it, but I don't think I will. I'm just going to stick with that. So let me just bring that to there and then clear it. There we go. So we don't really need to go back to the other camp. I mean, I could have gone back to the other camp, and I could have gone to trash one just to trash. I mean, to sell. Sorry, scrap. That's it, scrap. But, nah. And I'm, I've already got a freighter. That's right. Oh no, actually I don't mind this freighter. This one's okay. Hit it with a stick. Mm, no, I'm not going to hit it with a stick. I might break the stick. And then I'd have no stick left. And then I would be sad. And it's going okay, Zorik. Right. How you going, man? Why the hell does it keep highlighting the scrap dealer? I don't want to deal with this. I might as well just go and talk to him. Yes, I know. They have new opportunities. I don't give a flying. Mm. Well, okay, maybe I have two sticks. But are they functional sticks? Or they are just for looks? Come on, okay, yeah, okay. Coordinates, blah, 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 blah. Goodbye. Still got them beacon above his head. I mean... <sighs> Okay. Charge the glyphs to gain control of the portal. Learn the sequence glyphs of the planet. Okay. We'll get. To, I did that, but oh, whatever. Investigate. I don't. I want a different settlement, but. Return to the scientist. I think he's on my capital ship, isn't he? That's good now. Dude, what do you want? Uh, 
Uh, again. Fine. What an annoyance that is. Give some quarters for it. Yes, yes, yes. If it was a long stick to start with and it stuck around, then yes, I'd, I'd have two long sticks, uh, two, two medium sticks after breaking one long stick. And then I suppose I could use those medium sticks and break them also and have, then have four short sticks for the two medium sticks that came from the one long stick. Now, um, that can go th there. Okay, 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 that will go elsewhere. Go here as well. I'm going to just hang one of them for the moment. Radiant shards. I don't seem to have any radiant shards. I must have used them all. Uh huh. Yeah. And anytime Microsoft get their hands on games, they tend to screw them up. Just saying. Oh, okay, that's where the pugnum is. Well, I can come out of there. That must be activated. Okay, so they're bringing an ornithopter in. Interesting. I suppose, I mean, it makes sense with all the, the interest in the Dune movie and, and ornithopters of getting a real resurgence as, just as a result of that movie, actually. Um, it sort of doesn't surprise me, to be honest. Oh, I'll put them up there too. That converts to nanites. I mean, ornithopters, I, I used to mess with ornithopters when I was a bloody kid. Rubber, rubber band powered ones. That were cool. Had a reasonable one. It looked like a butterfly and it literally flew really well. Um, yes. Yeah, there was a reason I was coming in here for something. I 
could sell all them, I guess. But I won't. Now, let's sort of reorganise some stuff. Oh, you gotta leave them there. Oh, they right there. They can stay there because I want to use them shortly. Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, okay, I've got to do that, don't I? Um, oh, it's out there somewhere on a planet, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, already here. Oh yeah, because I teleported here. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. See, any of their own intellectual property, like MS flight, stuff like that, the flight sim, uh, which, don't get me wrong, I actually have, uh, Oh, I'm trying to remember which version it is. It's, I think it might have been 2010 version of Flight Sim. It's good. It is actually good. Yeah, customizable ships for Starfield, yeah. Yeah, it's just another gamers conference like GDC and things like that. just another way of studios can show off their up-and-coming titles which is fair enough but Microsoft's own intellectual property like Microsoft Flight Sim and stuff like that is actually really good anything that they've acquired and then tried to put their brand on is actually pretty shitty they tend to they tend to fuck it up to be put perfectly honest at least that's my opinion that's I'll, I'll let me proof it let, let me state that quite clearly that is my... Fuck, I can't see jam thing. That is my opinion on it. It just seems to be... Whoa, there is the ground. I knew it was here somewhere. I'm thinking this is probably where we want to go. Okay, high radiation. No joke. Localized ionic collisions. Okay, interesting. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bethesda Games equals must mod to make it really, really good. Rebooting, fine, reboot. Good, good, good. What the fuck? I mean, I'm looking forward to playing Starfield and having a play around with Starfield. Let me put it to you this way. Because it's, they're introducing elements that they've not done before in any of their games. Not really. Uh, 
And you're right, the customizable ships, that actually does look quite interesting. But if they think they're going to compete with something like Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen, they've got, uh, well, they're deluding themselves because they're not going to be able to. Now, I'll probably get a lot of flack for this, but also Elite Dangerous, if they think they can compete with Star Citizen, they are deluding themselves. Yeah, okay, Elite Dangerous is supposedly a release title and it's got a huge galaxy and it's got lots of players rah 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 the truth is it is only a really uh, it's only an attempted shadow of Star Citizen let's face it Hello? Wow, well that was the most weirdest of dockings I've ever seen. Haha, <laughs> okay. Nice. Bullshit, but nice. I'm still contaminated with toxic emissions. Hey, bug off you. Who are you? Records control. Okay. New formula found. Oh, goody. A convergence cube, really. I need a convergence cube. Fire it. Sold so many of them. Huh. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, you've been around with Star Citizen from pretty early on. Even Elite Dangerous. It started after Star Citizen. No, that won't be the sentence. It started after Star Citizen. It started, I think, as a direct answer to or response to the amount of backing that Star Citizen was getting. And honestly, I feel it was rushed. I mean, I've got I've got Elite Dangerous. Don't get me wrong. I'm not entirely talking out my ass. And it was an attempt to ride the bandwagon of interest in space trade combat sims. And look. The honest truth is, Elite Dangerous, or even the original Elite, is the great, 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 great grandparent of Star Citizen anyway, because that's where the, Chris Roberts got his inspiration from. It's the same with his Wing Commander series. Uh, if you've been watching my streams, you know, the Wing Commander Privateer is... It's the PU version, it was the first iteration that Chris Roberts came up with for what we have as the PU now. Really. And that is a direct, it's a, it's a direct uh, homage to the original Elite, which I have played. I've played it on two separate platforms. I've played it on the Commodore 64 platform and I've played it on the, um, the Amstrad. I mean, the original was written for the BBC microcomputer. 
but both the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad versions were a very faithful porting to those other platforms. Uh, and it's still one of my all-time favourite games. And if I could get a decent, and I say decent, a decent PC port, I would probably still be playing it because it is an entire galaxy with trillions of stars. It's like this game, as in it is the, the galaxy itself, the full galaxy is it's available within simulation. It's all procedural. It was one of the first games that, that went down a procedural task uh, path. Um, and like Elite Dangerous today is uh, the modern equivalent to the original Elite. Oh, okay. Um, no, we want that one. I'll just sit myself in here. No, oh, they probably are. I mean, I used to have a decent Commodore 64 emulator. It's a matter of getting um, the game. I, 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 I'll be honest. I've not really looked into actually doing so because we've got more modern games like this game and Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous. I mean, I'd probably only play it from a nostalgia point of view, to be honest. Uh, it's like, yeah, and if I want that nostalgia, um, I'll play pro a Privateer. Because that was my go-to as when I couldn't, when I moved to PC, that was my go-to for that, to, to scratch that itch. And I mean, I've been playing it, and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Whatever. And it gives me a convergence cube. Yay! I didn't have to try and steal one. Okay, wow, that was, that's different. I did it already. I did already do that before. I probably already did that before, actually. Brain not registering. Oh, look at that. Steam, steam element, stream elements just reminded me to do a plug for G Portal, as you probably can tell from my overlays and so on. I am a supporter and a partner with G Portal. A fantastic game host company that have got uh, cloud game cloud servers all around the, the globe and a huge array of games available for, for you to host for yourself yeah shit um, a small or even a large group of friends take your pick you can have small you can have small groups of friends you can have individuals um, they are also scalable to large groups of gamers as well so if you're interested in running a server for yourself or your friends go and check out G Portal. hit the link that's come up in chat there or if you're on YouTube you can hit a link there is a link down in the description below this video and you can actually get 10% off on your game servers with G Portal. so go and hit them up check them out tell them I sent you and get a discount oh what have we got here Oh, no, don't go through this. We won't go through this. This is an ancient portal. It's a relic gate. If I go through that, I'm going to probably end up anywhere. And probably damaged. 
Seems like fun. Let's do it. Whoa, nice blue world over there. It's Corvax controlled. Wow. We traveled 708. Really? Wow, this has put us really nice and close to the galaxy core, to be honest. Sweet. Fiery. Oh, there's selenium on it. Oh, that's pretty. Aggressive sentinels there. Yeah, typical, typical. We'll get to you. Forsaken. Icebound, interesting. Grassy. Interesting. And then we got you. What are you? Chard. There's some interesting planets here. We might have to go and check out that grassy moon, actually. See if it is actually grassy or whether it's just bullshitting us. Well, I'm thinking the grassy moon, maybe. If it is actually grassy, it doesn't register what type of sentinels are there. If any. So I'm thinking we might just have to go and check it out. I just want to drop in here just to... to tag the system so we can come back if need be. <laughs> this is how my ship blows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, exploration opportunities detected. I don't care about the fucking scrap dealer for shit's sake. Oh, derelict freighters. Ah, they're trying to get me to buy a, a beacon for derelict freighters. That's the grassy one, yes. No, that's the forsaken one. That's the grassy one. Yeah, well, what's life if you don't have a bit of adventure? I mean, they present me with a free portal with some destination unknown. It transports me 700,000 light years. Can't argue with that. It doesn't look all that grassy to me. Looks red. Unless it's red grass. Ooh, blue grass maybe. Isn't that a song style genre? Bluegrass? Sixteen point five degrees. It 
it's grassy. It did say something about uh, require obedience. Mm, good for them. Superheated drizzle. Okay, I've had that before. It usually is not that all that bad. Relax conflict level. So the sentinels uh, really, I don't think, are going to cause as much hassle. Folks, I'm thinking we may have actually found... Sounds like a drug. I'm thinking we may have actually found highest metal content. Really? Ooh. I'm thinking we might have actually found our new home base planet. Well, slowly. Moon. Hello? Are you friendly or are you going to be an asshole? Hmm? You going to be an asshole? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Piss off. Oxygen over there. I will admit I'm liking this. It's looking like a very promising location. I think I should have to stick down a a base computer thingy. Lots of oxygen. Ooh, sodium nitrate. I even like the view. Views. Wow, actually I do like the view. Hey. Bonus, I think we might have just found our, our new actual permanent base location. Okay, so we need some stuff to build a base computer, I think. Buried technology modules. Well, I mean, um, permanent base location. Well, I don't generally have a permanent ground based base. What the fuck? Hell, that's a lot of sodium. And carbon by the looks of it. No, ox ox oxygen. Okay. Yep, yeah, this is definitely the place. Talk about a lot of oxygen, a lot of sodium. That's nice. And that was a grand total of... There we go, that's not bad. Not bad for one little spot. Ah, oh, what are you... going? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. Oh, look at this. Organic UFO. Okay, now, um, what do we need for this? We need chromatic metal. Surprise, surprise. 
guess what? We don't have copper here, do we? Oh, we do have copper here. Bonus, even. Subterranean relics. It's a bit far off, a bit further than I'd like. That's a lot better. Let's go there. Now, the base computer is just to basically give me access back to the planet here from anywhere, so I can portal to the base computer. What I plan on doing is using the survey to find an electromagnetic node, a decent electromagnetic locational node, hopefully an S-class one, and building my base within or on or around that location. Because then that way, I have an unlimited supply of power. Okay, it's down there. There doesn't appear to be any life-sucking reapers. There's those things, which I better just change to that. Give me the oxygens. I mean, I probably should have scanned it first because I get kudos for, for scanning that, even though they're the same as they are on a million other planets. A trillion other planets, even. See, look, I can scan this, for example. Yeah, 19,000, nearly 20,000. And we'll go to the small one. I think I only need like 50 chromatic metal, don't I? We'll let that do its thing. Oh, that one's different. No, it's the same. No hotspots nearby. Yes, there is. I heard that. Low-flying UFOs. Yeah. Well, wow, it's a fair way off.
Nice. It's only C class though. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it does. I don't want to see class if I can get if I can get a better, but I just need to get far enough away so it no longer registers that one. Just got to be over a thousand units. A lot of oxygens. Really? It's a really nice, rather large plateau. With some resource of what? Copper. Look at that. Twenty six point six degrees incoming storm. No hot spots nearby, it's still tagging off that one. Okay, it is getting warmer. Um, we'll just dump it here, that's good. Thank you all. Uh, the rain's a little warm, but it's actually not that bad. I mean, it's boiling rain. 106. Lots of resources around, which is nice.
nice. Whatever that is. Okay, so they don't last, the, the storm doesn't last excessively long, which is pretty good. I actually think it'd be nice to settle down in there, but I do want to find a decent... See, that's still taking that one over there. That way. But I can do an exploration to try and find a decent location another time. That's cool. All in all, I, this is probably the best location I've actually currently come across for a decent base. So, there's that, that's good. Uh, so now we need to return to the scientist. Oh, okay, not enough fuel. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Don't have the stuffs on that, so I need to make myself Pugnium or Radiant Shard? Really? That's all it takes? I can't put... Sentinels, where are you? Now, I want a Sentinel and I won't be able to find one, will I? There you are. Thank you. I think I have enough pugnum. Thank you.
Alright. There we go. <laughs> there we can go. Oh, shit. There we go. And there seems to be a, a nice array of uh, resources in the rest of the system too, so I'm quite pleased by that. Don't think so, buddy. Go away. I don't want to struggle. Hello. Xanders? I don't know. I don't know. Apologies for mispronouncing your, your handle there. Welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, I'm having to close the stream out in probably the next five minutes. But, you're welcome. Welcome for coming. I appreciate you dropping in and saying hello. Um, oops. And Anubis, you just want me to blow up. That's right. You want Big Bad Boom. You always want Big Bad Boom. That's all you're on about is Big Bad Boom. Somewhere here to the portal. There it is. Okay, so it's the the Hayak Hayaka Hayaka. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rename that. But yeah, that was a pretty nice trek. That was seven hundred. Was it seven hundred thousand light years? Fine, give me the blueprint. What is it? The heat capacitor, which is great because I need that to make the blueprint you gave me just before. Okay, good, good. That's it. Yep. Uh, right, right, right. Well, not that one. This one. Return to space and contact Apollo. Did that. Learn the glyph sequences for this planet. Oh, I suppose that's... Yeah, I'll get to you. But for now, we are going to go back to our base because... Because I have a safe beacon there. No, nope, that's not. That won't get me there. This will. And it is that one.
Okay. That's it, folks. Uh, it is time for me to bring this stream to a close. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in and chatting. Thank you to IWXNDERZ. Uh, Xanders. I don't know. However you pronounce it, it's all good. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in. I do appreciate it. So, yeah. Um, I'll just walk back and forth here for a little bit and, and, and really mess with everybody, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, what are we looking at? Uh, no stream up tomorrow. There will be a stream the day after. For those who are following along, if you're curious, you can check the schedule um, listed on this channel. That will show you what I'm streaming when. Um, and until next time, thanks for stopping in once more, and uh, I shall catch you next time.